Welcome to another commute. I can't hardly see through. It's a big new Ford that doesn't even track straight. How did that make it out of the factory? I haven't seen anything crap like that in a long time. The crap's bad. <laughs> eh, okay, whatever. Not my truck. Not my problem. It's a pretty morning. Well, it's supposed to rain this afternoon? Tomorrow? Something? Uh, whole week the traffic hasn't been bad. I get out of the door two minutes late and the traffic sucks. It's typical. That's how my, uh, my little universe works. Okay, that really bothers me. I don't know why I care. <laughs> the fact that the wheels aren't lined up. Oh, oh that was cool. My visor just popped off. Uh, I hate these quick release visors. Because half the time, you never know if they're back to where they belong. I can't see what I'm doing and I'm fiddle fucking with it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna whistle all the way to work. I apologize, boys and girls. This is going to whistle. I took it off last night, pulled the pen lock out of it because it's gonna be summer now, and clean it. And yeah. <laughs> One more thing uh, yesterday that didn't work like it was supposed to. Oh well. Guess I should have known better. Should have been like, yeah, you know what? Let's not do anything, because <laughs> this day sucked and it's just going to continue sucking. Uh, so now I, I tried to do something and made it worse and made today suck. I guess that's also the story of my happy little life. I didn't understand why people have midlife crises. Why they, uh, they get frustrated and do stupid shit. Buy the red sports car and, you know, try and do other things. Oh, because one, you're at a point <coughs> where Changing careers is probably next to impossible. You're stuck. Even though you want to go do anything else, you can't. You can't start over. You can't start from the bottom again. It's just not financially feasible at this point. It's 
to decide, yeah, you know what, screw the automotive business, I'm going to go do bad, I don't even know what. Train monkeys or, you know, run away to the circus or whatever. Can't. you got a house and a wife and a family and <laughs> two bikes with payments and a truck and it's just not going to happen. So you're trapped there. So if you're trapped in your career, or your job, or your, your whatever, I can see why, you know, especially middle management with lots of stress, go off and do random strange stuff. It's, it's not because they're gone crazy. It's not because they, they've, uh, they don't care about what they have, or what they've built, or what they've done. It's, they need stress relief. They're, they're done. <laughs> they need a way for it to all be worthwhile. To, to, to have a moment where you can go out and say, yeah, that car is mine. And that'd be a minivan or uh, you know, a family SUV or something. I, to be a Corvette or you know, a Hellcat Challenger or something that's just badass. It makes you feel like a man. I'm not saying ladies don't do the same thing. They just tend to be a little more pragmatic about it. I don't know where the bottle came from, but I'm pretty sure I hit it. I'm glad it was plastic, I think. So, I just had a very stressful couple of weeks, and it's like, I, I, frick, I need to do something else. I want to do something else. But, you know, I have the red sports car. Well, black. You know, I have muscle cars. So they're a pain in the ass. Look <laughs> at old cars. Old cars are great and an absolute nightmare all at the exact same time. I know why so many people go the, the resto mod route where they got the freaking thing, put all new stuff in. It makes so much more sense. Not run over the road, kitty, kitty. Poor thing. <sighs> but yeah, I'm I'm at that that midlife point, and there's been a couple of days recently where I yeah I would have happily bought a red Corvette and gone and done shit only knows what if that was an option. <laughs> like yay, I'm free. Yeah, it's not. And that's why it normally bites those guys that do it, unless, you know, the kids are in college and the, the wife's a, you know, trophy wife to start and the red Corvette's just an accessory. Then I'm not sure that it's anything more than showing off for all the friends who have it. But. Oh. I guess I shouldn't complain. Stressful means busy, and busy means money, and that means times are good, but there's a certain point when a certain amount of busy you just can't deal with anymore. You only have such capacity to accomplish such amount of things in a certain amount of time, and then at some points you exceed that, then everything goes to hell. You end up being less productive. So... Anyways, I am actually almost where I need to be. And I guess I will see you all on the next one. <laughs>